from South Bend, Indiana, it is the Nighttime Show with Puppet Tommy. On tonight's rather sizable show, Jack Hanna comes by with his animal friends, Spencer Hall from Every Day Should Be Saturday, and a live performance from the Mumford and Sons. And now, here's Tommy! Hey, 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 thank you! Wow! Hey, you were a great audience! Hey, I haven't heard this much cheering since that time Ed Orgeron found a deer carcass in the middle of the road. <laughs> Free venison, am I right? <laughs> oh man, you are killing it tonight, Tommy. <laughs> oh yeah, well, speaking of Ed Orgeron, who wants to see some vicious, feral man-eating animals? Yeah! Okay, so just a quick few rules to go over with you before we start the interview. First, um, for some reason our entire audience is almost entirely Serbian ultra-nationalists. So, don't mention the NATO campaign in the Balkans, otherwise, you know, we get letters and you know how that goes. Yeah, that's my wife. I'm, I'm sorry, your wife is... The NATO campaign in the Balkans. You met in Cancun. Well, there goes our sponsorship with Belgrade Brill Cream. Well, you're all we've got left, Spencer, so make it count. Roger. Okay, great. Also, don't look Tommy directly in the eyes. Your coffee mug is full of whiskey and not water. And if you say two-point conversion, you're gonna get green slime dumped on you. So, don't say that. Or do, whatever. Okay, I played in the SEC. We don't even know what that is. Okay, great. Looks like Tommy's doing his bit with Jack Hanna right now, so we've got a few minutes to kill. And you want to warm up with some improv? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, let's go. Okay, cool. Uh, pick a celebrity. Yeah, I'm going to select, uh, you god. Me god. He's a member of Wu-Tang. Oh, that you god. And you be, um, let's say, Steve Spurrier. And we're in, um, a pet store. Ready, go. A lot of dogs in here. Siri, tell me everything you know about you god. Um, yes, those dogs are straight from the slum that's busted. Can I get three of them? Play them all at once? I found this. God is a mythological deity popularized by Semitic tribes of Iron Age Judea. No, no, not that god. The one from the Wu-Tang Clan. Nice try. I will never reveal the Wu-Tang secret. Um, yes, um, having three dogs is forbidden by the Shaolin Ninja Code. I don't think it makes any sense to just have a dog. You can't play the other two. Because, you know, one dog's good as another. Like point guard, you can just rotate him. Alright, Siri, drop a beat. You got in the house, say, now I'm dropping. Old Bongo's at the store, straight puddle shopping. I'ma drop some jewels on the OBC. We in animal welfare, <laughs> cruelty free. It's no fighting them dogs, you heard? Oh, no, 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 son. This ain't the ACC. So you're saying this is a catamount? No, 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 it's an ocelot. Much, much more vicious and territorial. Um, do I need to be concerned? Nah, they're only dangerous if you get them wet or startled. Other than that, they're perfectly tamed. <laughs> Boy, I really could have used this guy in the USC game when I went for that two-point conversion. <laughs> I'm gonna do standard American dog stuff with these dogs. A little petting, a little scratching. You know, coach them up. Get cute. Oh my god, an ocelot is eating Tommy alive! Yeah, you yeah, know, that's a shame. They get him to shake, you get two hands. You move him along, it's like a quarterback. Evolution. Oh, hey, no. I meant literally in real life, that's what's happening. But, wow, kudos for not breaking character. That was quite a pop you took from the wildcat there, sport. Are you still good to go? Yes, I am, popsicles. That doesn't give me a lot of confidence, but you're the only guy in the depth chart, so our fates are cruelly and inextricably linked forever. Knock him dead. Alright, thanks, Mom. Okay, people, 10 seconds until we're back from commercial, and... Oh, you're back, good. Let's guest with our next talk. His name is Orson Saturday from Every Spencer Should Be Football. How was your flight? I'm at home. Ah, this is not off to a promising start. Good story. I hear you're a Florida fan. First question, what is a Florida? Um, is violence, disease, there's, uh... Pretty substantial e-cigarette store presence. Just e-cigarettes on every counter, on every corner. Uh, and then the rest of the economy is uh, based on extortion. So uh, it's a great place. I couldn't recommend it enough. And, uh... Okay, he's down. Cut to commercial. Somebody get him to the hospital and get the backup into wardrobe. Um, coach. If we bring in the backup, we have to burn the red shirt. Oh, for Christ's sakes. How many street walkers did I murder and ritually butcher in a previous life to deserve this? Is there anyone here who can host a damn football show? Anyone? Bring it. No, bring it in. What do you no, want, no. Chuckles? Here, yeah, come on. Let's do this. Yeah, you've got kind of a goofy look to you. Well, maybe this will work. Put on a damn tie or something. We're back in 10. Now we're in a tie. And now, here's Spencer. Uh, hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, 
you know, it was a beautiful day here in Lake Wobegon. The, uh, the apples are, you know, apple-y. No oh god, he's doing Prairie Home Companion. Red alert, people! They're on the trees, and they're just so beautiful up there. Ho <laughs> Spencer! You are killing it tonight! Ugh, he's dying out there. We've got to get him a guest. Grab somebody out of the audience. You, young lady. You, Seamus McGrumpus, up here. Come on, come on, don't be, don't be shy. Plenty of room up here on this couch. That's right. What brings you here tonight, if you remember, <laughs> old guy? I've been to every show taping for 65 years. I hate this show and everything about it. Uh, why don't you stop coming? So they can shock and horrify my sense of decency without me knowing about it? That's just what they want. Uh, tell us about the time that Notre Dame was nationally relevant. I think it's all gone to pot since that bastard Ford part Nixon, but that's neither here nor there. All right, Mr. Big City. I answered your asinine question. Now I have some for you. All right. First, what's with these fancy pants touchdown celebrations? Boy, when old Johnny Lujak scored a touchdown in 47, he went straight to the sideline without even stopping to ash his cigarette. I think it was something in the National Voting Rights Act or something. I think they just made that uh, a requirement. You just get it. Yet another thing, along with, you know, integration in the forward pass that ruined football for Notre Dame. Yeah, I figured you'd be one of those twerkers as soon as I laid eyes on you. Suppose you also think the forward pass is totally tubular, or whatever the hell you kids say these days. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> You're gonna die soon, puppet. The Grim Reaper's icy hand on your, wherever your shoulder would be. Well... You somehow found a way to make me more irritated than I had even planned to be today. So, thanks for that. I'm going to the Turkish bath next door. And, uh, farewell to you, sir. Yeah, I think I'm going to watch the entire Ken Burns National Park series on DVD. I'll see you guys in, like, 40 hours. Well, um, I guess it's just you and me. Do you want to, like, get some chicken wings or something? Uh, yeah, you got a wing stop? There's a strip club around the corner that has the best wings in town. Let's do that. Why don't you get all purple in the face with excitement? I always wanted to see that in person. So, uh, yeah, BK, let's, uh, let's have it our way. Now, is anybody there? Can anyone unlock the studio and let Mumford and Sons out? No? Well, I guess I'll just play me banjo in this abandoned studio all night. <laughs> Broken string! No! no! That's not fair! That's not fair at all! There was time now! There was all the time I needed! It's not fair!